Oh my gosh, it's time for Ninja Steel. We got to episode nine. It's just taking no damn time. I mean, go my gosh, freaking damn months later. But I don't even know. I should be happy or sad or depressed or don't even give a care about Ninja Steel. <laughs> time for episode nine. It took them so long. And I have to admit for the children out here, for the kids, it's messed up. Listen, man, you decided to just end it like right there and then come back some months later. I'm like, I understand. I understand. But you did it too, too early. Number one. And number two, come on, man. You just hinted at, oh, he gets to have zords of his own. Oh my gosh. And then you don't do it. The good news is at least the Zords are now able to be bought. Like, Yay! And the freaking Gold Morphers out there. Yay! But the Gold Morpher sucks! Definitely check out that video when I talk about and bash the crap out of the Gold Morpher that they just gave us out. The only messed up part that's even worse is the fact of the Gold Ranger figure and the powered up version of the Gold Ranger figure is not actually available. That's really sad. The only thing that you can find on Gold Ranger is the motorcycle. But anyways, we got to get to this episode, which this episode is called something, something boom, <laughs> rocking and rolling. This is actually going to be a Gold Ranger themed episode because now he has to choose between two things, being a freaking damn rock star or being a Power Ranger. I think I'm going to talk about that as soon as we get into it. But for right now, this is just a nice little teaser. And here comes what I have to say about it in the review. All right, so let's get started. So we get some things going on. And then all of a sudden, you're like, Power Rangers, Ninja Steel. And it's like, what the heck? The Megazord. The Gold Ranger Megazord's in the background. Already revealed. It's like, what the? I know. This is. This is already brand spanking new. I mean, they've been doing this for a while now. They don't keep a nice little, you know, the shocker. It's like, oh, my gosh, because we never actually like, for instance, my Morphin Power Rangers. We had no idea Titanus even existed. Of course, hey, Internet. But still, this is Nick who's actually revealing stuff. Like, for instance, Lion ha -O or Lion Fortress, we already know that exists. Thank goodness they are keeping hush-hush about the final Megazord, but still, my gosh. And, of course, personally, to me, to me, to them, I'm like, yeah, you need to keep it hush-hush. That Megazord really actually isn't as good as you think it is. The only way how they can actually really sell that final Megazord is by to actually put electronics in it. Anyways... The monster is missing. They're like, oh my gosh, the monster's missing. And he's like, no, he's right there. And he, he's a freaking dude that's able to make cross or earthquakes. Now, just like apparently like Lord Zed, they decided to get their minions who actually are robots and upgrade them. So now they're tougher, even though you can't really tell. Like Lord Zed, for instance, as soon as we knew he upgraded the putties, it was a big Z on their chest. And you're like, oh, frick. They're, they can't get taken down. It's like, oh, it puts the Z. And it's like, Man, Lord Zed, you really made a flawed thing, but hey, it still is powerful. Anyways, we got freaking Victor and Morty, Monty, trying to sneak into the freaking concert because last time they they failed, and now it's like, oh, well. And apparently the Rangers get the VIP nice little thing. They got VIP tickets, and they're talking to Levi, and they're walking with him, and Levi is just basically saying how, yeah, I created this. It's the world tour. I'm going to be out there for three months. It's like, whoa, three months. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden we get married, the biggest fan who was in the previous episode. And apparently Mary's idea, her goal is to become a singer just like him. And he's like, oh, we should take a selfie. Let me get my phone out. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. His phone, his phone is the freaking cheeseburger morpher the morpher that they were like oh no we're not gonna make the morpher no 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 we're going to repaint the original one and make it a piece of crap <laughs> it's like yes you made it a piece of crap it sucks i'm sorry but i have to call your bull crap and it's like whoa the cheeseburger morpher wow so at least that's a nice little easter egg they just did which i'm like oh that's pretty damn cool Good for you. And it's his phone, apparently. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the earthquakes began. And, well, the Rangers has to go check out and see what it is. Of course, Mika already called him and said, hey, something's bad going on. And then Levi's like, well, I think you guys got this. How about you go get this and I'll stay in the concert and play? So he's been planning it and he's going to perform. And that's what he did. And technically, 
for those who actually have been here for a long time, they basically took kind of somewhat cues of what happened with Tommy. But I kind of, at first I was going to say that, but now I can't because way back in the day, Tommy actually was missing in action because of what happened with the original footage. But this time, it seems mostly it's all new footage. It seems like it. So, yeah, kudos. So, anyways, the door opens in the concert. Monty and Victor are sneaking in by trash can. And apparently their plan is to do what happened in the Goofy movie. Yeah, I know. I'm pulling lots of stuff that's going to be like everyone scratch your head and like, what? Especially your kids, but hey, if you watch the Goofy movie, you will realize that oh crap, um, Max and Goofy both just show up on stage and then they start dancing with them, and it's like what the heck? <laughs> yeah, so exactly the same idea that they're gonna try to do, but they got trashed and dumped stuff, and they were like, oh well, we need to figure out some way to do it, and of course the manager said, hey, we need those speakers put up on stage, and I was like, ah, so they're gonna pretend to be tech crew sound tech guys and move the speakers thus they're inside because well they actually helped and they seem like tech guys i'm like oh that's a smart idea and then the rangers go in because well the monster is out there it go in in ninja form and they just fight so yeah and apparently by the concert hall there is a mine just by out of nowhere which makes sense i mean come on I wish they would have made it like a mine as in it was a mine that was just dug all by itself. It was crappily made, but instead it looks like it's a mine that exists and well, okay. It's a key show. It's a key show. So I'm like, okay, fine. It's a key show. And I have to admit the yellow ranger had a nice takedown. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. He just had a good stealth move. That was awesome. And then, uh, they split up two went down there three of them stayed so blue yellow and white they fought and morphed and they kept outside controlled and again yellow ranger my gosh dustin i think it was not as dustin dustin's ninja storm oh well uh, calvin yeah he, he did a great job he's doing awesome man so the monster just was monologuing while in there saying oh i'm gonna destroy the hall and get the rangers nearer and nearer yeah so we got the red ranger trying to contact levi levi started his concert is failing to contact him and i have to admit levi got a nice voice man i mean everyone they ever chose that actually is singing like tanya or erica or antonio they all had good voices so good kudos to them on choosing who actually sings and everything. So basically what we got now is just the fact that the monsters noticed them and the cave, the cave in is very imminent. So the others are still fighting. And finally, after a while, they blasted their way and they're now free of any more minions being up there. The other two were basically about to get caved in morphed and punched their way out of the freaking damn earth. Good job for you guys. And the Rangers actually have to crash the freaking concert because, yeah, the monster is mining all the way under the freaking concert hall. And the concert hall is about to get destroyed. And everyone who's in the concert hall is going to get injured. So they actually had to crash the party. And guess what? Victor and Monty is now on stage. They hit themselves in the freaking speaker. How the speakers actually were working? I don't know. Yep. It's a key show. It's a key show. <laughs> now, okay, that's, that's her explanation. It's a key show. <laughs> so they kind of was ruining it. I mean, they were as bad as they're, they're actually worse than Goofy and Max because Max came on the stage. Goofy came on the stage. He's like, man, dad, do the perfect cast. And then Max joined in too. And now they're just dancing with each other. And holy frick, man, it's like, yeah, that's how you freaking crash it but do it in style victor and monty did it very very badly and i could have sworn it's either security or an earthquake not sure if it was security security sucks they threw them all the way into the musical equipment one got the guitar the other one got the drums i'm like if it was security oh man you guys suck you don't give a crap about the freaking people who are entertaining them and there goes the stuff but anyways, 
earthquake was going on in the red and white ranger actually went to levi and said hey well we got to get everyone out of here man and as for the others the blue ranger yellow ranger pink ranger they were helping assisting people to get out and levi morphs and i have to admit it's a great job what they did on that where the fact of we see that there was danger and everyone was escorting everyone out that was good. That was awesome. That was good. That was touch. And we got Victor and Monty running for the freaking damn lives. And they were pushing people over a little bit. And I was like, wow, you guys kind of suck, man. It's kind of suck. Well, anyways, we got Mary who was in trouble. And she was like, daddy, daddy, where are you? And I'm like, yeah, um, for people who actually believe that was Peter Parker and Iron Man too, like I said, but isn't that being a bad parent? I mean, whoever was with me, that kid, Whoever was with that kid, period, you're a bad parent. You just left them all alone for that robot to almost kill them. Good job for you. Same deal for the dad, but the dad was actually close behind. So she actually was running faster than her dad. And, well, the Gold Ranger saved her. It was like, oh, that's few. And the dad was just actually running straight up behind her, which I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. Didn't everyone get out of the... Okay, it's a kiss show. It's a kiss show. <laughs> so all the Rangers are now back into the concert hall. Ripcon is actually there in the mines. It's like destroy the Rangers. You can do it. And the monster is like acting like Super Shredder. He's just straight up destroying the concert hall. The concert hall is completely destroyed. I hope they have good insurance. And the monster, the monster audience, who are looking at thing oh my gosh man if only they were teaming up with freaking damn scholastic or something then remember the monster channel that was in that one time only goosebumps horrorland episode yeah that would have been awesome if we could actually link those two together but oh well whatever is it's old and new so anyways yeah they were loving it and the monster's now outside and it was kind of funny how levi was like you ruined my concert <laughs> <laughs> so go ranger actually gets to battle the monster while the other ones and i'm like oh my gosh do you see that for people who knows ninja you actually will notice that this is actually the first episode stock stock footage holy crap they used the first episode on that <laughs> But anyways, he dealt to me. It was a nice fight when it came to the Gold Ranger. I think it was actually like episode 18, but don't quote me on that. And then we have, hey, hey, Levi, used the clone ninja star. And it's like, whoa, hold up, man. It looks like to me that that ninja star, I'm not sure. That ninja star could actually be Aquatar, but on the other hand, it seemed too, too much of saying, dude, no, that's the freaking, that's, that's Brody's yeah that was brody's power star so as for using the cloning thing well they kind of screwed themselves on that other episode where yeah you should have actually have done that freaking two-parter episode that would have been pretty cool but okay freak it never mind you can't find the guy who played shane in ninja storm you can't find the person who played the red aquatar ranger from it's a kiss you it's a kiss you Anyways, yeah, it's kind of funny seeing the electrocution of the monster. I remember it before, but it's just kind of funny watching it again. So anyways, now it's the Red Ranger versus the monster. And then while well, the Gold Ranger had to step in because the Red Ranger was getting too overpowered. And there's a final attack and... <laughs> oh my gosh! The Cheeseburger Morpher shows up again. Well, technically now it's a Cheeseburger phone. Yeah, so Cheeseburger phone shows again and now... It's kind of funny. I mean, technically, in the original footage, the Gold Ranger is a showboat, and he likes to show every single battle he won. For Levi, we don't know. Levi is just like that gimmick he has. Unlike when it comes to um, the Gold Ranger, which, yeah, he has more. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, he got the cheeseburger more. For, we're going to see that every single time when he finishes his attack. Oh my gosh. I I'll talk about that at the end. But anyways, second chance. Now we get to see the Gold Ranger Zord. And I'm like, oh, no cramping. Because in the original footage, in the original series, the Gold Ranger Zord, he has a cramped space. His cockpit is a real cramped space. But as you can see, 
they widen it so that means there's no cramp jokes, which I sad. I love the tramp jokes at times. It was very funny because there was two, there was three who were in that Zord. You had the Go Ranger sitting, the Blue Ranger was there, and I forgot who was the other person, but yeah, they were just there. And <laughs> oh well, but you do have to admit it was some nice cockpit design. It really is. And they showed off the Zord, showing how it can drive and everything. And eventually, you have the Rumble Tux Mega Zord showing up, even though he kind of questioned. Rumble Tux, well, technically, right now, they're on episode nine. I guess it's a mixed bag of whoever actually gets to show up. The Tusk Zord shows up, Astro Zord shows up. Yeah, right now, they don't really have lots of episodes where it's like, yeah, so, man, it sucks. Anyways. I was about to say, oh, the Go Ranger doesn't show his Megazord, really? But no, he shows the Megazord, and Levi is just showing the hell out of everything. He's just enjoying this. Yeah, he's, yeah! And he got that from the original <laughs> Go Ranger 2, so it's kind of fun. It's like, wow, that's awesome how they incorporate that. I still have to admit, though, the Buzzsaw Saber, even though that's not what it's called, it's still a bit too much, man. It's still a bit too freaking damn much. Oh my gosh, it's just too much. Wait until you have Bat in the sun or whatever, anyone, and he's like going against Brody and Red Ranger. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, he's able to get the chainsaw sword. Zzz, cut the bad guy in half. And there's blood and everything. It's like, yeah, um, Nick, I know it's a kickstool, but yeah, there's going to be some messed up repercussions someday. But anyways, victory is done. They go to the school, and apparently there's going to be a press conference at the school. Levi got to make an announcement. And the kids, oh, kids, oh my gosh, the teams, the team is actually kind of bummed that it's going to be three months until you see the Gold Ranger. I have to say, side note, when it comes to the original one, he get, he got a time limit, and then after that, the time limit sucked, and then... He had to go, and they brought him back, even though... Yeah, so you figured he was going to be missing for a few episodes, but he came back, and then... Yeah. So there's not really a big gappage of where it's like, oh, no, they have to write him out because the original footage was like that. It's like, no, no, the original show, the original series, he did leave, but he had to come back because, well, he did have Surfer Maru, and... Well, we don't know what they're going to be called in, in the original ones or whatever. Wavy Zord, Surfer Zord, whatever. But anyways, we got Mary. And Mary's like, I love the Power Rangers. I want to be a hero now. Especially thanks to the Go Ranger that saved me. And I'm like, well, hey, kids do everything. I mean, when, when I was little, I bounced between being a police officer to being a firefighter and lots of other stuff. So, hey, kids be kids, right? So the press, the press conference happens. He is postponing his world tour, but he's going to make new songs. And there we go. Everyone's happy. The Rangers are truly happy of it. He apologized to the Rangers and told him, well, I now know that the Rangers' duty is first and foremost the first thing I should think about. And, he's, and he, did, he admits he didn't finish high school. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you got to admit, though, I mean, don't kill me, but country music stars, chances are some of them might have actually dropped out of school. Yeah, some of them might actually have dropped out of school. So it'd be pretty cool at least say you graduate high school as well. I guess he is at that age. I'm not sure. I don't freaking know, personally. I don't freaking know. So, yeah, he didn't finish high school, and, well, Victor shows up, and he's in a body cast, and apparently he broke his body to save people, and he's getting a new trophy because of it, and we have the White Ranger, who's like, he didn't save nobody, and, of course, Cody took a signal from her mask. Is Cody a dude or a girl? Well, anyways, the dog took a freaking nice little cue from the master, and basically made him look like a freaking damn silly guy. It's like the reverse of what happened in a few movies where it's like mummied him up and he just unraveled him and while well, he's in the underwear. And it's like, you have no burden at all. You're a fraud, damn it. I'm going to... 
no. <laughs> yeah, so he got freaking figured out and they're running for their lives. Everyone laughs. That's the end of the freaking episode. So that episode, that episode, I have to admit, it's a mixed bag. I don't really understand. But hey, I mean, oh my gosh, I would love the freaking backlash. Please, kids, please, if you hear me, and I'd like to apologize, sorry for some of the messed up things I said, you know, cussing and stuff like that. Don't cuss, kids. Don't cuss. But still, please, kids, please go to freaking Bandai America and say we want that cheeseburger phone. Oh, my gosh. If they do that, then Bandai America will be like, we such dumb idiots. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> because they could have kept the freaking cheeseburger morpher. And... They could have just kept the cheeseburger morpher. That's really the messed up part. It's like, they could have kept the cheeseburger morpher. And for Saban's over here, they could have just had the cheeseburger morpher as his morpher and not have to deal with such crap of, oh, he got a... There we go. Here's the Gold Rangers new morpher. <laughs> it really sucks for them. Oh my gosh, they can't escape it. So apparently they decide to actually make it in Levi's character as well, is that when he wants to take pictures, well, he got a phone for that. And I know it's going to be kind of like a prop or something, but there's really no way, shape, or form they can get away with it. I'm sorry, but I have to believe the kids will definitely be like, we want that! We want that! We want that. <laughs> what I got to tell is like a hey Bandai. What you need to do right now is find somebody who actually will team up with you and say, hey, let's make a camera. So you have a kitty camera from the cheeseburger phone. It's like, yeah, just just team up with somebody. I know you can team up with Polaroid. team up with somebody. Allow it to be able to be used as a camera. It's not going to be a pretty good camera. We know for a fact, but. Give them something. Give the kids something. Since you have that, I bet some kids were like, cool. So, yeah, um, you guys kind of screwed up right there. You kind of screwed up a little bit. And you can't really escape anyway. So, yeah, I really hope you have a cheeseburger phone getting ready to go very soon. Of course, the cheeseburger phone only was there to just take pictures. So, I don't know, maybe you could actually get away with it. But on the other hand, I still have to say, kids, please, please tell them you want it. Please tell them you want it so I can laugh at them because it's going to be funny where they're like, oh, damn it, we made a big mistake. <laughs> please do it, kids. Do it. Anyways, thank you for watching and stay tuned. Another review coming tomorrow. I mean, coming next week. Well, Besides that, next week I'm going to be able to do two more, so it's going to be on exactly on Saturday. Then I'm going to have to start doing on Sundays because of new stuff. Sundays at 8. So, yeah, Sundays at 8 in the morning if you missed the episode. You can still catch it that time. Hopefully. But anyways, stay tuned for another review of Ninja Steel.